Good morning, you guys. Okay, I'm talking low because it's a little early and everyone else in here is basically sleeping. Um, this morning, I'm gonna do salt water flush. Now, the last time I did a salt water flush was about three, four years ago. And I think that's because I was juicing at the time or I can't really remember. But anyway, I'm gonna be doing uh, the saltwater flush. And I know a lot of people basically do the saltwater flush when they do the master cleanse. Now, originally I was gonna do the master cleanse for three weeks, but I decided that I'm going to, for the first week, eat nothing but salads. And I'm gonna do the salt water flush, but I'm not gonna do it every day. Then I'm gonna do juicing. Again, I'm gonna do the salt water flush, but I'm not gonna do it every day. So I'll probably do it like three times out of a seven day period. And then the last week, I'm gonna do the master cleanse. And again, I will not do the salt water every day, but I'll probably do it four days out of maybe seven, six days. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my measurements. I know you guys probably be saying what the hell is happening with her shirt but i actually um i i cut my shirt i thought i was gonna make a little style but it really didn't work so anyway um okay so i'm gonna go ahead and drink this salt water i'm supposed to be able to drink it down um fast so we'll see what happens god willing that it just goes down and it does not make me let's just see It's not horrible, horrible. I just think, I don't know. It's just filling up your stomach with it that makes you just like, will. And the taste is not great. like no way in the hell that you can do this every day I mean 32 ounces of salt water every day just to me it just seems like it's insanity I think think you know every once in a while you may um, want to use this method as a laxative but not every day just I'm getting there. I'm almost making it. It's, 
it's not really worth it. Seriously. Um, today is Tuesday, June 2nd. So the next time I'll probably do this, it's like Thursday. This thing is traumatizing. <laughs> works so i'll let you guys know what happens in a half an hour to an hour so okay you guys so i'm gonna show i wanna go ahead and take my measurements for before i eat my lunch but let me got let me show you guys my lunch really really quickly so what i have here is some strawberries and some watermelon. And then I'm gonna have this salad here, which is a mixed salad. And it has the cucumbers and just a little bit of cheese. Not too much cheese, just a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna try to eat two bowls of the salad before the night is done. Um, hopefully I can make it because I don't want my calories to be low and because that affects you just as much as if your calories are high. So I don't want my calories to be too low and especially being that um, it's pretty much a very low calorie diet, a low calorie meal, let me just say that. Um, but okay, so let me go ahead and take my measurements. So 25 and a half. Okay, so I'm just taking the measurements of my stomach. I'm not going to take, of course, the measurements of my thighs and my arms just yet because my stomach should be the first thing that is affected uh, concerning doing the salt water flush because a lot of people experience like uh, somewhat of a flattening or um, inches off of their um abdominal area so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and i'm only doing that because i just want to see what the very first flush would look like and so that's it but let me go ahead and eat my lunch because we're not gonna i don't want to make this long because i want to go ahead and put all three of my meal weeks into one video hopefully i can do that if, so we'll see but anyway um most likely i probably won't say anything else today and so i will see you guys tomorrow Mwah! love you guys be safe out there please i beg you guys to be safe <sighs> i have a separate video for everything that's in this head right now so we're not gonna do that right now but be safe love you guys good afternoon i just had one of the best salads that i've had in a long time and it might be because I was a little hungry but maybe not maybe it was just like a really good salad let me tell you what my salad consisted of so I had of course like I told you guys the mixed um the spring mix I had cucumbers in it cheese avocado i put some minced garlic oh my gosh i put some salt i put some pink sea salt i put pepper and i put cayenne pepper and i'm t oh and black pepper did i say black pepper i probably said black pepper so but you guys that freaking salad was spectacular like seriously like i'm sitting here looking at the bowl right now and that salad was so freaking damn good oh my god okay so enough about the salad so today i only had two bowls of salad now i was trying i thought i was gonna have four bowls of salad okay maybe i'm bugging how am I bugging out? Oh, God. What the hell is that on my curtain? 
All right. All right. So I'm going to keep an eye on that thing because just in case it's something that flies or whatever, I don't know. But, um, <sighs> all right, let me focus. So, um, what else was I saying? Okay. I thought I was going to have four bowls of salad, but I can't make it to four bowls of salad. Like, I start eating at 12 o'clock because, you know, before I even started this, I was fasting. So, I basically just start eating at 12. It really didn't matter what time I stopped eating because I just wasn't that strict with it. I just made sure I started eating like 11.30, 12 o'clock. And um, so I'm still doing that. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or what, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm eating starting at 12. And so I'm only able to eat two bowls of salad. I have been having um, some fruit, which is the... Um, the watermelon i didn't have the strawberries today i just had watermelon because the strawberries actually belong to zayla so i don't want to eat all her strawberries but i do have some mango and i'm probably going to cut up the mango and do just like i did with the strawberries and just put the, cut them up and put them inside a bowl for easy access and i want to say i'm going to try to move up the amount of salads i have but i'm truthfully i don't think that i will i'm going to be doing something going somewhere at the end of the month so i don't want to i don't want to be i don't want to be doing any type of um fasting or diet in three days at least before i leave because last time i did um a fast and or a, a detox and i went out of town and i drank um the next day that I start got off the fast and when I tell you it was like so embarrassing like my sister can attest it was so embarrassing like I think there's a video of me out there somewhere just being a hot freaking mess what else I want to tell you guys so I feel freaking great like seriously I feel so oh <gasps> I feel so great. Like, it's crazy. Now, I am doing a tea. Let me show you guys the tea. All right, so let me show you guys the tea. So this is the tea right here that I'm using, taking at night. So this is a 14-day herbal detox slim tea. And I today I did have a moment or two maybe where I felt like I just wanted to eat something besides eating the salad but pretty much i mean it was like a really quick moment um what i did to try and you know or what i did to stop any type of cravings is i just drank some tea and so i did have the tea with some honey in it and you know that helped me a lot and I, like i was telling you guys i have the watermelon so and so pretty much um i think that i did really well um today the only thing is that i have not been drinking enough water i need to definitely um up my water intake and especially for tomorrow because tomorrow i'm going to do the salt water flush because remember i said i was going to do it on thursday so i'm going to do the salt water flush and I will say the last salt with a flush, yeah, there was a lot, you guys. It was a lot. I think I went to the bathroom probably about three to four times. Um, but anyway, you guys have a good night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I'm just coming really quickly to just show you guys, like, my profile currently today is thursday now i should have probably done this on tuesday but i totally forgot but we're only three days in so i'm sure there's nothing drastic drastic that happened in two days let's just say because today is only we're in the third day right 
yeah tuesday wednesday thursday so we're in the third day in the beginning of the third day and so i just wanted to show you guys my profile because i'm getting ready to go ahead and drink the salt water flush and so i'm just gonna show you really quickly how the body is looking and then we can go ahead well i can go ahead and well i will go ahead and do another profile on monday or maybe tuesday probably tuesday morning because that would be my very very last day monday is the last day oh, all right not to waste so much more time <laughs> Alright, so that is my profile for Thursday, I think this is June the 5th today, so yeah, and you guys see, I have a little jiggle now, before I didn't have any, any jiggle in my arm, so I'm gonna have to work on the back of my arm to ensure that it doesn't get any worse okay, i'm getting ready to do the salt water blush so let's go you guys this time around i actually warmed the water up because last time the water was room temperature which it was still pretty um like cool and so this time around i'm it's it's like lukewarm and it's going down much better let's just say that so the one bit of, of advice that i would give you give anyone who might want to try the salt with a flush is to don't rush it i know you hear a lot of people saying oh you're supposed to just chug it down but in my experience from last time when i tried to you know chug it down because i like to if someone says that okay this is the most beneficial way to do it then i want to you know do it the most beneficial way and so i chugged it down and the first time the chugging it down wasn't so bad i'm gonna say because i had a certain mindset when i was doing it but then i realized <clears throat> as i was trying to continue to do that um i had a really bad episode where i just vomited all of the water up and so if you don't get the water inside yourself then it's not going to be beneficial trying to you know do it the way someone said that is going to be most beneficial because last time i took my time and it was still beneficial and so i would say take your time you know i mean try to keep it at least within a half an hour but if you can't hey do it in an hour you know i'm sure there's still benefit okay <clears throat> so i'm going to show you guys my water baby It's all in this part and I can feel it like I can feel it like in here in this part it's, it's like a lot of pressure so good morning you guys Okay, so let me tell you all what has been going on in the last two days. So basically, today is Monday. 
and today is the last day that I will be doing the only salad meal plan so what had happened was and it's not terribly bad but I did go off of that meal plan <clears throat> so let me tell you guys what happened what happened is that Zayla, you know, she's in the 12th grade and they were supposed to be graduating. But of course, we all know that there is no graduation for these graduates. And therefore, I decided I would do a graduation at the house. And the Obamas basically was given the commencement or confused or angry or just plain overwhelmed by it all. If you feel like you're searching for a lifeline just to steady yourself, you are not alone. I am feeling all of that too. I think we all are. So I want you to know that it's okay to be confused. It's okay if you don't understand exactly what you're feeling. We're all sorting through this in real time. But here's the thing, while this period is certainly unprecedented, it is not a complete anomaly, simply some random coincidence to be dismissed. Now what's happening right now is the direct result of decades of unaddressed prejudice and inequality. Graduation is a big achievement under any circumstances. Yours comes as the world is turned upside down by a pandemic, and by a country that's been swept up by protest. I can barely imagine how head spinning these last few months have been for you. So, my lovely Dimitri, he decided that surprisingly he would bring Zayla and myself some crab legs and a Mexican salad. And that all comes with cornbread and raisin bread and so yes i did enjoy a piece of bread i had me some crab legs and i did eat a little bit of the mexican salad and i did have a little piece a teeny tiny piece of chocolate cake and then the next day i made an almond cake and I did have a little piece of the almond cake. So I did not 100% stick with the salad only plan, but I don't think that I killed it. Like, I don't think it was, you know, like, I don't think that I should not still see results. And I'm getting ready right now to do the salt water flush. Cause like I said, I was gonna do it today on Monday. And so this is the last time I would do it for this meal plan. And um, later on, what I would do is I'll go ahead and I will take my measurements and I'll let you guys see if there's, you know, any changes or if there's no changes. But what I will say is that this morning or really last night, it's like my stomach was bloating like really really badly so i'm not really sure what that is maybe because i'm not drinking as much water as i should be drinking and so i definitely need to up you know pick up my water intake i just want to show you guys where i am currently after the my salad only meals with some cake let's not forget about the cake you know want to be transparent and honest so that is what I am looking like after that week and now we are in our second week so in the second week it's going to be much better than the first week i 
promise you guys I know I already said that but I have to tell myself that more than I have to tell anyone else that so yeah all right good morning today is Tuesday and I have finished with my salad only meals plan so okay so remember I was supposedly 22 inches in my waist but I think that was incorrect and so yeah I, I'm, I'm, I don't think that was correct but we're gonna go ahead and um, still do my waist area and we'll do all the other areas and just see how those numbers look okay all right you guys so that is it for the salad with some cheating basically meal plan and today I'm gonna start my juicing and today the I promise you guys I am going to I promise myself that I am going to complete this juicing it's only a week without any other foods involved except for fruits and vegetables I'm promising myself that right now there's still a little piece of cake left in the refrigerator but I am not going to look at that cake I got my juice you guys I got my juice all right so this is probably a little more than 32 ounces of juice and so I'm gonna have this for the early part of the day and then I'm gonna have something with some and then I'm gonna have a vegetable juice basically in the afternoon so this one right here is a fruit juice and then the one in the afternoon it will most likely be a vegetable juice i'm not really 100 percent sure of that because right now i really don't have any vegetables and i would need to go to the store and then i'm like i really don't feel like going to the store and then Dimitri probably not gonna want to go to the store for me and so i might just end up with another fruit juice and then tomorrow i'll go to the store and buy stuff really i have the salad some of the salad still but i'm not really sure how some of those lettuce would taste in a juice the fruit juice and what i have in it i'm gonna start from what i put in i have strawberries i have pineapple i have blueberries i have banana and ginger and then I have some almond milk as the base. So yeah, and it's really, really delicious. So, so my next drink will probably be around about maybe five or six o'clock at night. Pretty much I feel really, really good. Like I don't feel food deprived because I'll probably eat that damn cake, so. <sighs> good morning, you guys. All right, so last night, well, yesterday started the first day 
of my juicing and excuse me you guys pretty much that's all the hair I grow under my underarms and right now I'm just like let it grow but <clears throat> I have not shaved in probably probably since the beginning of January maybe in December but anyway then I hear for my underarms so yesterday basically like I said I started to juice in and although yesterday was a good day as far as a juicing day I did have a moment where I was like please can I just have a cracker like just give me a cracker please but that was it and then well Dimitri he was cooking some damn so this morning this morning I feel pretty energized I feel like really I don't know I just feel great like it's it's a beautiful feeling and if I could just maintain feeling this and eating this way for the rest of my life I would just be it would be spectacular because it just helps you like in so many areas like with your skin and your hair and your attitude just like everything is just lighter you know and of course your weight I'm starting to see my back dimples again you guys like I'm excited about that I'm excited about seeing things I haven't seen in a while you know like my clavicle I can't wait till my little clavicle comes all the way back in yeah so but anyway um i haven't really been doing any exercises at this point i have been doing like some light running and i was doing a few little lunges and things like that but i haven't been doing anything extensively some baked chicken and i'm just like first it was smelling stink so i didn't mind it but then when it really started to cook up it started to smell pretty good and that's probably because i was just hungry but I mean I didn't eat no cake I didn't eat any cake I didn't have a cracker and I didn't have any of Dimitri's chicken so I juiced twice yesterday so I had 32 ounces in the morning and 32 ounces in the day I'm still juicing still feeling good not really craving anything at all you know, because Dimitri and Zayla, they're still eating and cooking and got eggs and with the butter and the bread and the chicken with all the seasoning. And um, I'm still hanging in there. I did have two um, tablespoons of peanut butter yesterday because I'm getting ready to start my menstrual. And so I just needed like a little something. And so if I need that little protein boost today, I probably will go ahead and have me another spoon or two of peanut butter. I don't particularly like it inside of my um, juices or smoothies. And so that's why I didn't put it in the juice or smoothie and I just ate it off the spoon. So yeah. But that is it you guys for today that is probably all i will check in with you guys good afternoon how you guys doing what's up what's going on today is tuesday you guys so that means that i have finished my second week of fasting so you know last week i was doing the juice fast i actually finished up this week which was monday and you guys will know before that time i was doing um nothing but salads but i did cheat and i had three pieces of cake so we all already know that no judgments so this week starting today i will be doing the master cleanse not excited but listen i'm feeling pretty good as you guys can see i'm pretty energized but i'm not really energized and i will say that because i have my menstrual this week and it started two days ago which today is my third day so 
yeah um i think i have like another maybe two to three days with that and so i think i mentioned already that i will not be doing the salt water flushes because my body is already flushing itself up and i don't want to get sick or whatever you know trying to do too much so i'm not going to do the salt water if today is tuesday i probably won't do it until around about thursday but you're supposed to do the salt water every day with a detox tea at night which i am going to do the tea so but i'm not going to do the salt okay so basically what i want to just say to um yesterday was monday and then of course sunday Sunday and Monday, I did not have any juice in the nighttime. And I know I probably shouldn't have done that, but I really could. I just could not eat anything those two nights. I did have a tablespoon of peanut butter. And peanut butter is the worst thing you probably could eat in the night. It's because it's like a, it's supposed to energize you for the most part. And yeah, I was up like both nights probably until like after two o'clock in the morning and so but i still it wasn't bad because even though this morning i was a little drowsy a little tired but that's only because I'm, i have my menstrual and then i didn't eat um as well um so yeah but other than that you know i think i did okay with the juicing i don't feel hungry like right now i didn't eat and it's already after 12 and I didn't eat last night, like I said, and I'm not hungry, you know, at all. And so I think at the end of this, I think going into this is going to be really, really good. And I'm glad that I did it the way that I did it, you know, just going in stages. So now, you know, being that I'm not hungry, I can go ahead and do the juice and not be hungry and get through it. So... And the reason why I'm not doing it for 10 days is because I think I already said this. I'm going out of town. So, all right. So what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and take my measurement. So you guys seen what my measurements are. So what I will say is that some areas does didn't seem to um, have gone down and some areas did go down. And I'm going to show all of those numbers so that you guys can see um, what the changes were from week to week. And like I said... I'm gonna take my weight yeah but anyway so that's it um of course i'll update you guys today of how the juicing you know like what are my thoughts on you know doing this juice because remember i told you guys i did this probably like so many years ago and i got really sick and so hopefully i don't you know get sick this time and i can just go ahead and you know finish out my seven days but let me go ahead and get started because i am working and i'm on my hour lunch talk to you guys later all right you guys so here she is and i know it looks very 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 red because i did put a lot of cayenne pepper in it i think i put about a tablespoon of cayenne pepper and it doesn't need that much cayenne pepper so i'm gonna hope that it's n i didn't ruin it because i'm out of lemon this is probably all i'm gonna drink for today because this is 32 ounces if i do need more then i will drink more i have a half a lemon so i could make one more um what 10 to 12 ounce 
but we'll see what happens but i need to go out and get some more lemons before tomorrow anyway but yeah so i'll let you guys know how this goes how you guys doing today you guys i feel absolutely spectacular this morning like I can't even explain to you guys like how I feel right now because I don't know. It's just so weird. Like, okay, first let me tell you all. Last night, last night I had a very weird night. Like, seriously, I had such a freaking weird night. Like, I don't know I can't even explain that to you all like seriously I don't want to freak no one out but I had such a weird night and that's all I'm gonna say okay and I really didn't get oh no I did get a, I, did, I got enough sleep but I did get to sleep late but I've been getting to sleep late for the last like maybe three or four nights so that's just been like what I've been you know dealing with so but this morning i woke up and i just felt like so refreshed so rejuvenated and um i'm absolutely loving this feeling like seriously i am i'm loving it um so let me get my juice i'm having the juice oh look at that you guys look just look at all this right here that is the cayenne pepper at the bottom of this drink. That's the cayenne pepper down there. I shake it up before I start to drink it because I want to have it, you know, evenly distributed at, with every sip. So every sip that I take, I shake it up before I drink it. Um, so that way is none of the cayenne pepper left at the bottom at the end of the night. So... I think I put probably a little bit more cayenne pepper today than I did yesterday. Um, but yeah, but pretty much it tastes the same because I think I put a half more lemon than I did yesterday and I put a little more, bit more maple than I did yesterday as well. So the balance, it all balanced out. Let's just say that. So yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys about my night. I'm not going to really do any updates. Oh, I was supposed to do my weight yesterday and I did not do my weight. So I will say that. So what I will do is take my weight at the end of everything. So we'll see how much I weigh at the end of this. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, guess what day it is, to you guys? Just guess what day it is today. Today is the last day of my my master cleanse. This is the last. Well, no, no, no. Let me take the back. <laughs> Let's rewind. Okay. Yesterday was my last day, and today is officially the first day i've been able to eat something besides salad and uh a shake or a juice and so guess what who want to guess how much weight that i lost i'm gonna give you time to guess how much weight i have lost nope close nope all right so let's stop playing around i'm gonna tell you guys how much weight i have lost i didn't weigh myself throughout the whole journey because i didn't want to be distracted or i didn't want to be what i want to say discouraged and so i wanted to wait until everything was done but i decided to weigh myself before i had anything you know to drink eat or anything so when I finally stepped on the scale, you guys, 180 pounds, 180 pounds. So I went from 205 to 180 pounds. I'm going to say 205 because regardless of what, in the last two 
to almost three months, I've lost 25 pounds. That is astronomical. That is like, yes, that is like, keep going. That is like, we're not going back. And I'm looking to go to at least between 160 and 165. So that means that I am going to go on this little three week diet plan again, and I may extend it to a month. So, oh, be proud of you, girl. Okay, so that is it, you guys. Let me go take care of myself because I am still preparing for my trip. So, I love you guys. You guys, please be safe as always. And um, listen, enjoy your weekend. Mm -hmm.